Hey, what's up everyone? This is Faust Calhoun. I lead Dangerous, so this is my thoughts on the CG and what has been happening with the cell, the items and things like that. So first, the CG about two weeks ago, or two weeks, it was you're delivering items or your fighting and collecting bounties and delivering it to the spirit of lay labs and the items that they get that they gave you was stuff for the viper so like right up here you could get viper gold or you could get viper white uh, accelerant white or accelerant gold so just new paint jobs for the viper Yeah, so they did that for two weeks. They gave two weeks of of chances to get paint jobs for the Viper. And this paint job is actually pretty darn cool. It has a lot of stuff going on in it. A lot of colors. Something that looks like you're promoting something. It looks like the Blue Eagles kind of thing. <clears throat> okay. And then, this week... Three different CG things that popped up. <clears throat> so, one of them is that it is a Class 3 power plant. Viper has Class 3 power plant. One of them, another one of them. So, the second one, let's say the second one, is a Class 3 shield. Shield generator. So class 3 shield generator, class 3 paint job, I mean class 3 power plant, and two very unique and vibrant paint jobs for the Viper MK3. So my theory is this is all set up, all things for Odyssey. Things set up for Odyssey, things set up for this. You're getting, you're getting stuff to make your ship look all nice, nice, good looking, fancy looking, just so that you can play around with your ship, check it out, see if you like it or not. So like this, yeah, you can see the paint job, you can see the stuff. So my theory is, yeah, for Odyssey. But how Odyssey said, or how did the developer said, hey, for Odyssey, you guys won't be able to use ships that can lock on to enemies or that can fight enemies uh, easily. You really can't get too much support. So I think they changed that for probably, say, a few small ships. I'm going to say the Viper is one of them. Because why would they give new paint jobs, materials just for it, items to equip for this, for the Viper? It's, it's so you can actually use it. You can get called in for support. Hey, we need some, some support. So you can actually lock, like I'm saying is that... The small ships are probably going to have like extra abilities or extra things that make it easier for them to fight or attack on ground soldiers, on ground people, so it can deal damage. Like like you get called in and it's like, hey, you're in the area. Oh, if you come here and take out like three people, you get you get a million money or something like that, or you get two hundred thousand money, and then you go out there and then you're able to lock on, shoot, do a few hits, and then fly off. Or some, or some things like that. Because they're doing a lot of little things to make the ships look really nice. And giving items for the ship, like power plants and things like that. Why would they do that for, for just one ship? Like one ship, so I'm guessing because of the Viper alone. The Viper might be the only ship in the game that has that ability. To actually like lock on to enemy like on ground on foot enemies and fight them and actually like do damage to them or be able to uh, 
interact with a facility easier, or it's small enough where, hey, the the on ground uh, settlements or areas defenses cannot target them accurately. So if you just keep moving, is that you won't be able to to get hit, or just or like because of the the better shield is is it's less accurate but you'll still get hit so here's a better shield for the viper so that you can actually take a few more hits before you explode oh yeah uh, here's a better power plant so that uh, you're able to use weapons easier and you don't have to worry about uh, the power issues that the viper has <coughs> excuse me the Viper does have a little bit of power issues, things like that, but to fix them is you have to use a engineering. So they engineered it all up for you, so you're able to mess with it a lot easier. And you're able to do so much more with it. That's what a lot of people say is it has power issues, it just needs the power issues to be fixed. Uh, so the ship will become better. And yeah, this is how we fix power issues by giving you a new uh, power plant so you can use it in this stuff. And we give you a very good shield that you can use so you can go on settlements, do some stuff. And then here's some new nice paint jobs so that when you're flying around, you can show it off to people. It's like, hey, look at my new ship. Or, hey, look at my Viper. It's all nice gold and white and black. And it looks awesome with the stars and stuff. Yeah. So those are my thoughts on it. Is that they gave you these different paint jobs so you have something to do. They give you these uh, new items, a power plant because they do have, the Viper has power issues, a new shield generator that can be able to take a hit, a hit or two, and then allow you to do things in settlements or around settlements a lot easier because of on-ground troops with Odyssey going on. Yeah, they said not targeting, blah, 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 but I think they're probably going to change it for, like, small ships. Because small ships can't carry the big-ass weapons that, like, oh, yeah, I'm going to bring out this giant old weapon keep doing stuff. Yeah, they can do some damage with the smaller weapons. Yeah, no doubt about that. It's just not as powerful as the larger ones. And then also... Well, what I'm saying, probably just small ships in general, because, like, hey, the Eagle, the Imperial Eagle, even if you go down here, you can see the core internals. Is that, yeah, Class 3 power plant, <clears throat> it does have an option for a larger, a larger, um, internal for a shield. So, like, even the Imperial Eagle. So, let's use that ship, let's look at it really quickly. And, uh, and a ship I was just messing with, a hauler, has the same thing. It has a few Class 3 uh, optional internals and a Class 3 power plant. And this is probably exactly the same thing. Is that you saw the Class 3 power plant slot. And then you go over here to the internals. Hey, look, looky here. Class 3 up there. Class 3, optional. So that's why I'm thinking the Viper is probably going to be like the main one everyone looks at. And then it's just small ships in general are able to come and give more support, more fighting, more things in combat with On Ground and Odyssey. Instead of just being completely separate and doing their own thing or just having trouble to really fight or anything. 
is makes it easier with the small ships that can zoom by pretty quickly, drop a few plasma charges, or just shoot some machine gun fire, white stain stable, taking a few hits from on ground people, and, tur and uh, defense turrets of the settlement, and then you can zoom off before you take too much damage. But alrighty then guys, so I'm going to end this video. If you guys can like, subscribe, share my video, help me grow, add comments, tell me that like how I can make things better, whatnot, new conversations, all that fun stuff. And most importantly of all, always love the Kelhound. You all take care.